Jelly Car uh, was kind of inspired by a few different games like Loco Roco, which had squishy physics. And I really liked that, and I thought that was really interesting. I was wondering why there weren't more games that used that. And uh, I kept thinking about it, and I decided I want to try and make my own kind of squishy physics system. And the first thing I thought of was a car. The look of the game, in fact, is inspired by little flip books that I would make as I was a kid. I think there's something about the game that kind of feels like the way you imagine things when you're a kid. So I made a car, and I made a car that could grow and shrink. And that turned out to be kind of fun, so I made some levels, and Jelly Car just sort of came out of that. The first version of Jelly Car was actually a PC Xbox game using the XNA system that Microsoft released, so you could make your own Xbox games. Then the iPhone came out, and I was really interested in all the apps that were coming out, and I was thinking about Jelly Car, and I kind of thought, actually, this game might be kind of fun. On the iPhone, the controls would work, I think. I should try it out. So I got an iPod Touch and I put together a simple version of the game and I released it for free on the App Store. It was out for about a year. It's had about, the free version um, on the App Store has had about 6 million downloads. So if you've played like Jelly Card 1 and Jelly Card 2, I think there's going to be a lot you're going to like in Jelly Card 3. First of all, the levels are way more interactive this time around. We have lots of new levels. We have over 40 brand new levels that uh, no one's ever played before. For Jelly Card 3, what we want to do is kind of go back to what was really fun about the game and work on making the actual experience of playing the game when you're driving around the levels as good as possible. So there's lots of new features in the game, but they're all focused on making the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay more and more fun. So we have a lot of stuff in there, like um, a replay system. So when you finish a level, you can hit a button and view a replay and like rewind, fast forward, pause, slow-mo, and watch how you play the level, watch how all the things bounce around and interact. Or if you see something really funny, you can save that and show it to your friends. When you finish a level and you get a great time, the next time you come back and play that level, you see a ghost of, of your previous best time in the background, so it gives you something to race against. And also, if you're connected online and you have a friends list, uh, who are also playing the game, you can race their ghosts as well right in the game, which is a really great way to compete with your friends. In Jelly Car 2, you can pick from a few different cars and you can choose the color of like what color you want the body of the car to be, what color you want the tires to be. Uh, for Jelly Car 3, we totally redid that system where you can still choose different cars, but now you can just pick up crayons and markers in the game and draw right on your car and make any design you want. You can paint a smiley face on your car, you can design it however you like. Of course, we're going to update this game. Um, so I'm over here full time now. My job is to make cool games like this, and one of my top priorities is to make sure that we are updating this game. So after it comes out, we'll be keep making levels, we'll be releasing new levels, new features, and listening to what people like or dislike about the game, and, and reacting and continue to make it better and better.